Hello, uh, Matthew Lehman here, otherwise known as a bit of the universe. Um, where did I leave off in my last video? Let's see. I mentioned that there are 6,000 stars that you can see with your naked eye. Um, I think I mentioned that they were both, or that they are all visible. And, like any one time you go outside, you can see 6,000 stars. No, you can see about 3,000 stars at a time, but you got to keep in mind that you only see half of the celestial sphere. So on the other side of the Earth, there's another 3,000 stars, approximately, that you can see with your naked eye. So yeah, go outside in a very... the dimmest conditions on Earth. I'm talking about, like, Beaver Island or um, a desert out on the ocean. Um, if you live in a city with a lot of light pollution, you might go out and and only see one. And if you see one, it's probably not even a star. It's probably a planet. Venus or Jupiter. Um, here in Alpena, Alpena, Michigan, we're up on the 45th parallel. That's what I love about Michigan. Whoa, look at that. It is the Lower Peninsula. Alpena is right here. Um, Detroit's down here. Ypsilanti's over here. That's where I'm going to be for up to 18 months. <sighs> Still coming to terms with that. Um, yeah. So, at any one time, you can see... I don't know, here in Alpena, Michigan, maybe about 500. Um, it's less than it was when I was a kid. When I was a kid, you could probably see about 1,000. Um, but we have a couple plants. We have Abitibi or ABT Co. or I'm not sure what they're calling it today, these days. Um, we have Lafarge. Um, now we have Walmart, um, Alpena County Airport, over by Walmart a whole bunch of businesses sprung up and all of them have lights in their parking lots and so if you go outside at night and just scan the horizon you can see, um, you can actually see Walmart, you can see Alpena County Airport and you can definitely see downtown, and you can see Lafarge and ABT Co. That area over there. Um, all those things give off a lot of light, and it doesn't matter how how wet it is out or how much humidity is in the air. The more humidity, the more you see the the dome, the glow, the light pollution. Um, But, yeah, it's, it's not good. Um, one thing that is good, I guess, about this area is if you go away from Alpena, and the population of Alpena is like 12,000 uh, people. It's the population of Alpena City. I think the population of Alpena County is 38,000 to 40,000. Um, another interesting thing, the population of the county is going down while the population of the city city stays where it's at, or excuse me, other way around. Population of the county is going up. Population of the city is going down. Um, question is, why is that? If you look at uh, statistics over time, um, at least the last time I looked, which was quite a while ago, um, I think it was eight years ago. Um, over the years, um, a lot of people say that children go off to college and they don't come back, or the children go off to find jobs elsewhere and they don't come back. Um, and you can't have a city without children. You can't have a city without kids who grow up. Um, unless you have a retirement community, which is what Alpena seems to be trying to do, which is why 
which is why I think churches are so popular here because there are so many old people who are afraid to die and so they're going to churches and hoping that hoping that they'll go to whatever they know of as heaven or hope they don't go to hell or they just go there they give their money to the churches the churches get bigger they buy more buildings and they just like they gobble up more and more because all these people are coming here retiring dying and leaving their money to to churches um, if you're if you're a Christian, that's probably not such a bad thing. You want there to be more churches because you want there to be a bigger influence on your community. Um, Catholic churches are the biggest around here. Uh, we have some Lutheran churches, some Baptist churches, some Episcopal churches. I think there's uh, there's somewhere between twenty and thirty churches just within the city limits, and that's this is a relatively small population. When I was growing up, people used to always say that. Um, Alpena, Michigan has more churches and bars per capita than any city in Michigan. That's what people would say. Kids would say, um, teenagers would say to us as kids, um, people complained about that. People complained about the number of churches and the number of bars. Um, over time, a lot of the bars have closed down because the jobs have gone. Um, plants close. Um, Besser close um, I don't know what they're doing now I've seen cars there this year so there's something going on there but um, Besser is a huge plant it's a they make block machines of cement cement brick making machines um, the paper plant Fletcher paper closed they used to be right on the river uh, they've been closed for a long time relative to a lot of people but I I still remember when it was bustling you know you go down there and see trucks coming and going all the time um, yeah so the Fletchers the Bessers they had a lot of money in this community there's <clears throat> there's a lot of other families that put a lot of money in this and you know I thank you I thank you if, if you're a member of a family who who's contributed a lot to this community uh, we all appreciate it a lot. Um, I love this community. I really do. I love my friends that I grew up with. Uh, I, I love everybody. Because that's that's a part of who I am. And I've been told by a lot of people, you have to get out of here. You have to get out of this community. Um, or they tell you, hey, leap, leap people from other places, bigger cities, they say, hey, you know, come here, we have jobs, you know, live, live with us, live away from all those Christians, um, and so many people do wind up moving, and, uh, I did too, in, 1998, I moved to Indianapolis, stayed there for, I don't know, uh, half a year, um, worked at a bagel factory, not a factory, uh, a deli and bakery, I made bagels, I made about 6,000 bagels every night, and we would deliver them all over Indianapolis, anyhow, uh, I was only there for about six months, and then I got a little homesick, um, not sure if I lost my job or not. I didn't lose my job. I I had a lot of fun down there. I wanted to do something besides that, but it was good money. Anyhow, after that, I came back up to Alpena, moved back into my mom's place, went and visited my old apartment, which I had just got earlier that year. Um, it wasn't even a full year. Um... Like, I got the apartment in 1998. Um, I was there for, I don't know, maybe three or four months. And then moved down to Indianapolis for a few months. Uh, I'm not exactly sure off the top of my head how long I was down there. But when I came back, the lease was still in my name. But uh, 
a friend of mine who I had invited in, Charles Valentine, wound up breaking the front door, I guess. Um, he was a really good guy, but, uh, I don't know. He just didn't take care of things. Anyhow, I didn't get the security deposit back. So, uh, and I didn't even go to move back in. When I came back, things had totally changed. And, uh, I know it keeps coming to my, popping in my head that I jump around a lot. <sighs> You're gonna see this on all my videos. I just go from one topic to the next because I can't talk as fast as I think. I should talk a little faster. I might say more and I might complete full thoughts. So. If anything that I say interests you, comment on it on YouTube or on Facebook and I'll explain in more detail. Um, another time though. It's 547 now and I have to be at Alpena County Jail by 3 p.m. today. So, I don't know, about nine hours. Nine hours. Speaking of time, um, I was just notified by YouTube that I can now make videos longer than 50 minutes and these videos take time to upload the longer I make them the more time they take to upload but while they're uploading I rewatch them and I try to come up with keywords and descriptions of my videos um, yeah while it's while it's uploading I'm trying to stay busy I'm trying to think about what I've said what I should say, you know, what I want to say. Girlfriend's up. I love you, Nora. Anyhow. Um, yeah, so... I'm going to make this video a little longer and just see how long it takes to upload. I'm thinking maybe I'll go 20 minutes or 30 minutes, I don't know. But, uh, oh, she usually, she takes away my thoughts. She makes me feel really good. Well, I'm still getting the you know, hang of this. Um, if you see these videos these that I'm going to post this morning, um, any of the videos that I post today, if you think they should be better, more well, uh, oh well, uh, just design better, just let me know. I don't know, it's not a big deal. I just want to get out as many thoughts as I can about things that I'm thinking about, things I want people to know, um, while I can, and I'll just let... I'll just let history take its course while I'm, while I'm gone. And I hope that people, people talk about these videos. I'm, I'm going to make as many as I can. I'm going to make, not as many as I can. I'm going to make as many as I feel like. The more I do this, the more comfortable I feel in front of the camera. The more comfortable I feel with my thoughts, but uh, I know I'm going to have to work on them work on the videos, work on the delivery. Uh, hey, I'm on camera right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Sweet. You're not about it, Nora. Anyhow, um, yeah. So, things that I want to mention. There's a lot of things that I care about. But what's most important? Uh, we'll start off with the universe. Let's get started. What's more important than the universe itself? What's a, what's a better subject to talk about while we're inside the universe? 
than what we are, what this is, uh, what's going on. I'm not sure. I've spent the better portion of my life trying to figure it out, though. Yeah, I'd probably say... I don't know, I maybe slept a quarter of my life. I maybe spent... Mm, I maybe spent a quarter of my life in schooling. A quarter of my life... Not a quarter, no. Maybe a fifth of my life. Playing games? No, not games. Having fun. Probably spent a fifth of my whole life just trying to have fun. And that includes video games, that includes playing in the yard, that includes sports. Um, yeah. Hmm. A lot of thoughts there. But, uh,. Kind of makes me wonder why do we spend so much time trying to entertain ourselves? I don't think we do it by choice. We do it because we don't have anything better to do. I'm one person in particular that uh, doesn't have a lot to do that I have to do. What do I have to do? I don't have a job. I've spent the majority of my life unemployed. Um, uh, okay, I guess. I've spent, I don't know, eight, nine, ten, eleven, maybe eleven years. Maybe ten years. Ten years of my life on SSI, uh, which is Supplemental Security Income, and Social Security. Those two things have been, and the Social Security is a lot more than the Supplemental Security Income is. Um, those two things have, have allowed me to be free from responsibility as far as jobs are concerned. Is that good? I guess. I thank you. If you have a job, if you pay taxes, I thank you for your two cents a year. If that. But you know, you get enough people together. I get. I guess right now I get about $8,000 a year. Um, it's not much to live on, but bills and everything, all my bills combined come to about $550 a month, which leaves me with about $150 to play with. Um, now in the winter I think it's going to go up a little bit more um, because of the gas bill, but <coughs> hey, you know, live and learn. Um, I don't know, I don't know, I'm getting used to it. Most of the time I run out of money. That $150 lasts me a couple weeks. Um, sometimes I go out to eat. Sometimes I'll buy a shirt or a pair of pants. Sometimes, I don't know. Um, I probably spend about fifty dollars a month. Well, now, now that North Shore, I spend about fifty dollars a month on tobacco. I used to spend maybe thirty dollars a month. Um, but yeah, of that hundred and fifty, about fifty of it goes towards tobacco. It's, it's a, you know, I saw a video on the Discovery Channel once 
of a bunch of people in Africa, these tribes, and they introduced tobacco to them in order to fight hunger. These people in these tribes, they were starving, they were skinny, um, they hunted monkeys, they ate roaches, they dug up roots in random places throughout the whole jungle, all this kind of stuff. Um, and these tribes, um, they smoked tobacco out of big pipes. Um, it looked almost like a ritual, but they didn't even know tobacco until people passed through with tobacco and introduced it to them. So, yeah, that was kind of weird. And to be honest, I'm not sure if it was in Africa or in um, Indonesia. It, it looked kind of, and now that I think about it, it looked more like an Indonesian, not Indonesian, um, Eastern, Southeast Asian, maybe. I don't know, it was on National Geographic or the Discovery Channel. But, anyhow, yeah, I, I realize that tobacco does help fight hunger, and if you smoke, you know that you can have a cigarette if you're hungry, and it kind of takes your appetite away. It's not good for you. I guess. And, uh, yeah. I don't mean to be a spokesperson for anyone or anything, but this is... This is what I smoke. American Spirit. It looks like it's backwards in the video. But anyhow. Um, I don't know. I've smoked it for a while. Smoked it. That and Jarms, which are clove cigarettes from Indonesia. Speaking of Indonesia. Clove cigarettes that used to come from Indonesia. Now they sell them as cigars, and I can't stand them. So I don't smoke them anymore. But, uh, yeah, I guess Obama made it illegal to smoke flavored cigars, or cigarettes, excuse me, flavored cigarettes. But, uh, you can still smoke flavored cigars. Every kind of flavor is banned except for menthol. Why menthol? I have no idea. Maybe because it's the most popular of the uh, alternate flavors. I don't know. But yeah, I smoked those for maybe two or three years of my life. Um, smoked blacks, smoked uh, specials, smoked... Uh, those are the two that I really smoked. There was a cherry flavored, a vanilla flavored, um, menthol flavored, didn't like that one. I didn't like any of them besides the blacks and the specials. But then they're illegal, and so I stopped smoking them because they stopped selling them. <coughs> so, uh, I didn't even finish talking about the universe. Not just about the universe. Let's not think about the whole universe or all of us, all of this. Let's think of just the stars that we can see in the night sky. The number's going down. You can see about 500, maybe 1,000 on a really good night here in Alpena. Um, and it's kind of sad that there are cities where you can't see any stars because of all the lights. It's really unfortunate because for me personally um, I like to go outside and see the stars they give me hope for the future um, just so many thoughts race through my mind as I'm looking out at the stars um, I try to memorize the names of all of them I got most of the constellations. I probably know. I don't know. There's 88 constellations. I probably know like uh, 40 of them, and you know the other the other 40 I don't even see because they're in the southern hemisphere. So the other 48, but uh, I do know 
quite a few that are in the southern hemisphere, and there's some in the northern hemisphere that I don't even know. But those are just the constellations. Constellations are composed of stars. It's the stars that really matter. Um, constellations are just pictures that you can make, like playing connect the dots. When you look outside and you look at Orion, you think that's Orion. It's not Orion, it's a bunch of stars. It's the same way when you look anywhere. We are surrounded by stars. Earth is a sphere. You can look in any direction and you're looking at a star. And the great thing about that is beyond those stars that you can see with your naked eye, there are billions of galaxies in every direction. Billions. There's, there's probably 500 billion. You just look it up. The number changes all the time you know, with, uh, with the information that we get from Hubble, from Kepler, and soon with James Webb, Chandra, uh, Spitzer. Just all of these space telescopes and ground-based telescopes, we, we look out there and we get a better estimate. And that's what science is. It just keeps getting better and better and more accurate and more accurate. So for any of you Christians that ever watch my video and say, you know, oh, science is, science is inconsistent, science wavers, science flip-flops, whatever, whatever your defense is against science, um, the truth is it's just getting refined, it's getting purified, it's getting better, better and better and better. And, and that's the great thing, because we're figuring out things about this universe that we didn't know before. And this is a really, really important time in history. Um, the Hubble telescope is one very good example of why this is such a good time in history. And another reason, what happened, oh, I don't know, um, 40, 42 years ago? 42 years ago. Let's see. What was that? 1969? Um, 42 years ago, there were three big things going on that involved the United States. There was Vietnam. There was Woodstock. Which some of you might know 1969 as the year of Woodstock. But uh, Vietnam was a big thing too. But more important than both of those, far more important than both of those, was the lunar landing. when America put human beings on the moon. And, and I have a picture of something I want to show you. Uh, let's see how well this turns out. Okay. That's the Earth. And over here see down here? That's the same picture as that. Just much smaller. Now this is the exact distance well not the exact, let's say relatively. This being the Earth, this dot all the way up here is the moon. And, and for the life of me I don't know why, I can't remember how far it is away. Um, 280,000 miles, 300,000 miles. Um, what what really sucks about measurements and numbers, especially, is that most most science is done in metric. But yet, if you want to talk to somebody in America, you don't say how many kilometers it is, or or how many liters, unless you're talking about pop. Um, you say miles or gallons. And for the majority of my life, I've done everything I can to avoid using this standard system. But, you know, I try to talk to people about kilometers, the distances, and uh, it's just like, they're like, what? I don't understand. You said kilometers? I don't know what that means. And that's, that's the really, that's the tough part about science. If you want to do science, you got to get in the metric system. 
because that's what scientists use. And that's what we need to use as a country. And uh, we're gradually moving more and more towards that. I just broke 30 minutes. I hope this video uploads. I've never done one longer than 15 minutes before. So, I should have stopped at 30 minutes. But hey, um, yeah, so there you go. Earth, moon, 450,000 kilometers away, 500,000 um, kilometers away. What is that? 280,000 miles, uh, 300,000 miles, 350,000 miles. Uh, I don't know why right now I can't. That number is escaping me. It's not, they're numbers that I've repeated so many times. Uh, but it's a long way. That's about the distance that you can get from a vehicle. Um, you can roll over an engine a few times um, if your odometer. Let's see odometer. Never owned a vehicle, but it goes up to 100,000 miles and it rolls over, and you can roll over that meter um, a few times before your engine usually goes goes bad. If it's a good vehicle, a good vehicle. And so, in the lifetime of your vehicle, if you could drive to the moon, you could make it there. Although, you have to drive the whole time. And, yeah, that's the math. I don't know. Maybe if you're going 50 miles an hour, let's say you went 100 miles an hour. And let's say it's 300,000 miles away. Take two zeros off 300,000 and you got the number of hours. 3,000. So 3,000 hours. Um... There's another system I don't like. I don't like minutes, seconds, days, hours. I wish we had a metric year, metric days, metric hours, metric minutes. Um, I proposed such a thing a few times before on the internet, um, only to find out that such a thing already does exist. People are trying to get it going, but... Uh, we're really based in this, I don't even know what to call it, it's not a hexadecimal system, it's not a, uh, yeah, it's 60, 60, 24, 365, and a quarter. I hope that you get better accurate, uh, more accurate measurements of time, more details, something simple where people can do the math easily, like the metric system. How many times does 10 go into 100? Easy. Two times. You might say 10 times. Two times. Two multiplied. I'm losing it. I'm thinking about too many things. No, you're totally distracting me. I'm thinking about it. Everything that I say, I'm thinking about what you're hearing and and what you're thinking. Yeah, it's ten, ten, times, ten times ten, ten but it's it's um you multiply it twice. That's kinda what I meant. That's what I wanted to the point I wanted to make. It's ten to the power of two. Powers. <laughs> yeah. So thirty four minutes. Um I don't know how long it's going to take for this video to upload. I'm going to stop it now, or very soon, shortly here, um, and start another one after it's done uploading. And I'm just going to, I think I'm just going to do this for as long as I have time, unless something else, anything stops me from doing this until I have to leave, uh, I'll let you know. While I'm working on the videos, I think about other things. I really like this mode, though. I really like thinking that somewhere out there, other people are listening. And that in the future, people will be listening to this. No wonder people wrote books, 
wrote stories. No wonder people tell stories. It's all really starting to make sense to me now. No wonder the Bible is so popular. Because people invested a lot into it, into those stories, because they knew that they would be retold and the people would find out about them. It's no wonder people like to write books. It's something people told me to do. Write a book. Yeah. I'd say half of the friends, or half of all the friends that I've talked to in the last 10 years, told me you should write a book. Someday. <laughs>